After decades of absence from North America, the Toyota Crown nameplate has returned to our shores. Although it's a replacement for the discontinued Avalon, this is no traditional sedan. Instead, the 2023 Crown straddles the line between car and SUV, perhaps with the intent to broaden its appeal to shoppers outside the shrinking full-size sedan segment. Either way, the Crown's mix of high driving position and three box styling taps a niche vacated by raised sedans of yesteryear such as the Subaru Legacy Sus and the Volvo S60 Cross Country. Although a plug-in hybrid and an F variant were both rumored, the 2023 Crown launches with a pair of conventional hybrid powertrains. The entry-level arrangement is a familiar one, pairing a 2.5-liter four-cylinder with three electric motors and a continuously variable automatic transmission CVT. The the most expensive Platinum model gets an exclusive hybrid max powertrain that sees a turbocharged 2.4-liter .4 four-cylinder and an electric motor on the rear axle combined for 340 horsepower. The Crown's distinctive look and oddball body style are complemented by a spacious cabin outfitted with premium features. Toyota is equipping all Crown models with a generous amount of standard driver assistance systems and infotainment tech. All three of the Crown's trim levels provide a more luxury-oriented experience than other four-door offerings from Toyota. The most intriguing option is the more powerful Hybrid Max powertrain, which is exclusive to the top-end Platinum trim, so it's the one we choose. All Crown models have a hybrid powertrain, but only the top-spec Platinum model gets Toyota's new Hybrid Max setup, which pairs a turbocharged 2.4-liter .4 four-cylinder with an electric motor on the rear axle for a combined 340 horsepower. The XLE and Limited models get a less powerful 236-horsepower hybrid system that uses a 2.5-liter four-cylinder and three electric motors. The XLE and Limited have a continuously variable automatic transmission CVT while the Platinum uses a six-speed automatic. All-wheel drive is standard on every trim. With the base powertrain, the Crown's acceleration is adequate, and at our test track it hits 60 miles per hour in a perfectly acceptable 7.2 seconds. The Platinum trim, with its more powerful setup, is noticeably brisker and its 5.1 second launch to 60 miles per hour proves it. The suspension has been tuned for a relaxing ride, so don't expect cornering heroics from the Crown, but the Platinum the model does come with adaptive dampers that sharpen things up and give the big four-door a more fun-loving nature. The EPA estimates that the Crown with the base hybrid powertrain will be capable of returning up to 42 MPG City and 41 MPG Highway. The Platinum model's more powerful hybrid max powertrain is claimed to deliver around 29 MPG City and 32 MPG Highway. On our 75 miles per hour highway fuel economy road, the Crown Limited delivered an impressive 42 MPG while the top spec Platinum returned 32 MPG, exactly as the EPA predicted. For more information about the Crown's fuel economy, visit the EPAS website. Inside, the Crown's cabin looks appropriately premium. Drivers who trade in their Avalon sedans are in for an upgrade, especially if they buy a limited or platinum model. The driving position is raised from a traditional sedan height to something akin to a compact SUV, which may make the Crown an attractive alternative to full-size sedans that still adhere to a more traditional formula. All models come standard with 8-way power adjustable front seats with heat, dual-zone automatic climate control, and ambient interior interior lighting. Limited and platinum trims add a panoramic sunroof, leather upholstery, and ventilated front seats. A 12.3 inches infotainment touchscreen is standard across the range, and it runs Toyota's latest and much improved software interface. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto are integrated into the infotainment software and connect to smartphones via a wireless connection. A second 12.3 inches display has digital gauges in front of the driver, and the crown also includes niceties such as a wireless smartphone charging pad, onboard Wi-Fi, and USB-C ports. The base this XLE trim comes with a six-speaker stereo, but limited and platinum models get an 11-speaker JBL stereo instead. In our first drive of the Crown, the JBL stereo failed to impress and lacked the richness of the setup that had been offered in the Avalon. 
While the rival Volkswagen Ardian offers longer bumper-to-bumper -bumper warranty coverage, the Crown's two years of complimentary maintenance is a standout limited warranty covers three years or 36,000 miles, powertrain warranty covers five years or 60,000 miles, hybrid components are covered for eight years or 100,000 miles, complimentary maintenance is covered for two years or 25,000 miles. Toyota equips most of its cars with a host of standard driver assistance features, and the Crown is no different. All models come with a package of features including automated emergency braking, adaptive cruise control, lane keeping assist, automatic high beam headlamps, and more. For more information about the Crown's crash test results, visit the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration NHTSA and Insurance Institute for Highway Safety IIHS websites. Key safety features include standard automated emergency braking with pedestrian detection, standard lane departure warning with lane keeping assist, standard adaptive cruise control with lane centering. If you enjoyed this video please make sure you subscribe, like and leave a comment in the comment section below.